uh, all right, so we're gonna show you how to install one of these 4G solar cameras. Um, basically, if you don't know what is 4G, 4G are the sim are the cameras that can accept SIM card so they can operate and communicate with you uh, via the 4G SIM card. They, the, these cameras come with the 8 watt solar panel and then there are six batteries uh, this size in the back of the camera, back of the panel here. So you need to unscrew these and put these batteries in. Um, what you need to know, uh, which sometimes get complaints, is that they come, some of them come with the plastic wrap. So you need to make sure that you unpeel this plastic wrap before putting the um, lock batteries inside the solar panel. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, let me just find my SIM card. So uh, what we're gonna do is we wanna put a SIM card inside the camera, turn it on and see how it operates. So some models come with the rubber um, cover for the SIM card. So for the SIM card and SD card. So the SIM card would go in and like might be a little bit tricky, uh, but it will go in like that. The SIM card would just go in and it will make a noise. So once it's clicked in, it would not fall off. If it's too difficult for you, just use a like a little bit sharper tool to click it in and get it out or put it in again. So once you do that, okay, so now I'll show you the other camera, the other type of SIM card. So the other type would be this model so you would need to unscrew the little screw on the on the back get it out and then there will be a slot here for the micro sd card which is that one the bigger one and then the sim card the sim card when you're inserting the sim card sim card would uh, the metal part of the SIM card would need to face down the board and the cut part would go in first, the cut part of the SIM card. So if you're not clear, with put some photos in it uh, so hopefully it will make you understand the camera a little bit better. So the reset button for these cameras are mentioned on the back of these. So. Uh, there is a on and off button and a reset button. So once you turn on the camera, like the other one that we're gonna try, is you need to hold on the reset button for the camera to say reset successful or, or something like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the power to the camera. Just make sure, so there are charging port here which you can charge the camera charge the batteries before installation it would need six to eight hours of charge before the first installation so make sure the batteries are in batteries are in and then you're connecting it to the solar panel connecting it to the port to charge the batteries. All right, so once you do that, it's gonna, the camera will come online. So you will see a light here once you turn it on. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna reset the camera. So I'm just gonna hold that reset button for a few seconds. System reset. So this is very important. You definitely need to reset the camera before you can uh, make it work. So like, once you reset, you just need to wait for a few seconds. And while we are waiting, I'm just gonna, oops, screw back. That screw. So once the reset is successful, the camera will have a blue light on it. So as you can see here, there is a blue light on the camera now. 
it means now I can do this setup. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to app, open up the Ubox app, I'm gonna go add a device, and then I'm gonna click 4G device, as it's a 4G Install camera. Install the SIM card, install the camera, install the antenna, so then if you power have a on the device, Wi-Fi nearby the blue where you LED plan to install will the camera, light up. You can After buy a Wi-Fi camera minute, instead of a 4G camera. Click next. So uh, the app will tell you, like once you get a blue light, go next, and then you need to allow the camera, the, the app to use the camera. Uh, and we're gonna go and scan the QR code on the camera. There's this tiny QR code on the camera that you can scan with your app. Yeah, once you do it, the camera will... Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address it can go to the next step directly. It will give you... Camera installed successfully. Fully charged. So now we have that new device installed. So it should be that one. Yep. So what you can do with this is... Oh, something very important is uh, to go to the setting once you, you have it. Just go to the setting and make sure that you your memory card is formatted. Because if you don't format the memory card, right now we don't have any memory card in it, but if you don't format the memory card, you can get the footage. So uh, once you have, you have the memory card, you can swap between memory card and the cloud by using the icon on the right. You can see the like a cloud icon and, and, uh, and the, uh, the micro SD card. So you can move the camera around pretty easy. It has a few seconds delay, obviously, but uh, you can move it pretty fast and, and you can change the speed here on some of the apps, like the app is changing all the time, so can't really promise you anything. But uh, then um, there are different settings that you can check into using the setting icon up there. As you can see, there are quite a few things you can do. Also, if you plan to share the device with someone, you can definitely do that by going to the app, which was here, and then clicking on that gear icon. You can do a share permission and then share the device with someone that you want, the, the person needs to have an icon. Or you can also um, make the notification disabled if it's not needed. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the setup of the camera. Uh, you, there, there is a two-way audio, there's a light that you can disable and enable for the nights, or you know you can swap between the infrared light and um, and skylight. So yeah, that's about it. I think. Um, if any question, you can always shoot us an email at um, you know on info at simplyonline.com.au, and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you. Bye.